Okay, we're gonna start with one cup of almond flour. To that, we'll add one teaspoon of vanilla. And a half teaspoon of xanthan gum. Followed by three tablespoons of melted butter. And a dash of salt. Mix that all together. If it's too wet, add a teaspoon of almond flour one at a time. If it's too dry, add a teaspoon of water one at a time. Then you're ready to put it into your parchment lined pan and press it down to about a quarter of an inch thick. Poke it with the fork. Want it completely baked, just generally, gently baked three quarters of the way because it'll finish baking when you put your pie in. You're going to start this recipe by creaming together two eight ounce packages of cream cheese. To that, you'll add a half a cup of monk fruit or sugar. I use monk fruit. Except I use monk fruit, yeah. Don't have to use sugar. Add a teaspoon of vanilla and then two farm fresh chicken eggs and blend together. Don't be shy. Don't forget to hit that like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell for future content. I have to stop and scrape the bottom because the cream cheese all sticks on the bottom.
your old skin scoop. But. I did use my paddle to blend this and change to the wire whisk. It will make it lighter and fluffier. Then you're going to add a three quarters cup of pumpkin puree, a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, a shake of nutmeg, and a shake of cloves, and mix well. want to make sure to stir it all up to get all the good stuff off the bottom and thoroughly mix it. You're going to pour that on top of your first layer. And just smooth it out a little bit. Doesn't have to be perfect. Then it goes into the oven at 325 for 35 to 40 minutes. When it's done, it will crack a little bit and you want to take it out of the pan and put it on a plate. Most cheesecakes you want to let cool and put in the fridge. This we tried when it was hot and it was great. It's warm and it's going to taste so good. Mm -hmm. Do you want one? Mm -hmm.